independently developed 2D side scrollers are some of the most unique games on the market. From Super Meat Teboy to Terraria, they come in all types and genres. Most are platformers, some are open world, and some are about survival. Our first game may induce rage Super Meat Teboy. It is a mixture of modern 2D Mario and classic 2D Sonic and a lot of challenge. You play as me T-Boy and you girlfriend Bandage Girl is kidnapped by Dr. Fetus in a jar I am not making this up who is jealous of me T-Boy for some reason. Jumping, ruining, wall jumping, etc. are only the surface in this game, it's the difficulty of doing the right action of the right time just right that is the most standout element of this game. Despite his high difficulty it still manages to be fair and very fun. Next on our list is Axe and Verge. It is a spiritual successor to the classic Super Metroid. It is about a scientist named Trace, who after receiving a crippling injury, awakens to find himself in an enchant yet technological e advanced world. The game mainly focuses on action and exploration, with many power-ups and collectibles spread throughout the game world. It has a gripping atmosphere and is a must for fans of old-school Metroid games. Next up is Terraria. If you have played Minecraft, just imagine a 2D platforming version on the Super Nintendo and you've got the basic idea. For those not familiar with Minecraft, Terraria is an open-world 2D platformer set in a fully destructible world of squares with crafting and building. Not only can you build stuff you also have to survive against a slew of enemies. The game has no story, you're free to do as you please, though it does have a boss-like encounters sometimes. It's simple yet complex and is highly recommended. Overall indie 2D sit scrollers are some of the highest quality and most creative games you can play right now. They are spiritual successors to games AAA companies toss aside. They are weird and creative. They are also a challenge sometimes. There is fun to be had with these games. They are a big change from the norm and an escape from the droll annual FPS games, and are very respectable and fun indeed.